Uh, hi, this is a, a follow-up to my previous video on improving your computer audio with a USB DAC. And today I'm going to show you how to connect a USB DAC to Linux. Uh, the first thing that is important is that you'll need to make sure that you have uh, Pulse Audio Volume Control installed in your Linux uh, distribution, wh whatever Linux distribution you're using. Um, and to make sure that you have it, uh, just go into your main menu. Depending on your distro, uh, you want to most likely go into system tools or something similar. Look for uh, your package manager. And in Ubuntu, it's uh, called Synaptic Package Manager, which brings this up here. As you can see, it's Synaptic Package Manager. You're going to search for PAVU Control which stands for Pulse Audio Volume Control. So type in PAVU Control. Uh, it should bring you right to it. Uh, here I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it. But this needs to be installed first before you can connect your DAC. Once you've installed it, I highly recommend that you shut the computer off. And once the computer's off, plug in your DAC. And once your DAC's plugged in, make sure that all the related equipment like your obviously your your cable that plugs to the DAC that goes to your computer speaker or goes to your stereo in this case you would have a, a, a jack this jack would be connected here and left and right would go to your stereo um, be aware that uh, uh, USB DACs only output uh, stereo not surround even if it sh lists options for um, surround it's still going to be two channel audio but it's high end two channel audio it's uh, much higher quality so um, once that's uh, once you've got all your connections make sure the volume isn't too loud on your on your device and uh, then you will bring up pulse audio and Go to your main menu, um, uh, look for Pulse, and then you want to enable it. Um, and of course, I should say that once you've made your connections, go ahead and turn your your computer on. Once you turn your computer on, then then bring up Pulse, and you want to make sure that the sliders are all at a hundred percent the third tab which lists output devices you're looking for your particular DAC you want to make the slider make sure the sliders are at 100 playback the first tab will also show 100 percent but particularly you want to see this this third tab look for your DAC uh, maximize your sliders to 100 uh, percent you may have other devices connected here but I'm focusing strictly on your DAC at this point um, and once you see this, uh, you're part, partly done, but not completely. Uh, next step is to make sure that your media devices see the DAC, uh, that, it's, that it actually sees it. So that's when you bring up, uh, in my case, I've got Dead Beef connected as my uh, 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 sound player or music player. It's a basic player similar to uh, Audacious. Um, a great sounding little player uh, and I prefer it over Audacious for my needs uh, but here you would go into edit click preferences actually let me close the background here for you first uh, okay so go to edit preferences first thing you want to see is under the first tab output plugin this may uh, it probably won't show ALSA connected. It'll show Pulse as the default. And what you want to make sure is that ALSA is enabled. So look in the drop down, look for ALSA, enable that, click on it. Then under output device, you want to look for your particular USB DAC, the name of your USB DAC, and then it says default audio device. So it, the name of your DAC plus that it says default audio device. Uh, it will get confusing because when you click on this, as you will see, you're going to have a large listing of devices and you're going to wonder, well, how, how do I choose? Well, I've already told you what those are. 
and it may start with default audio. So you may actually hear it still and you'll say, well, then that, that's good. I can hear it, but that's not configured totally correct. It needs to show the, the DAC itself. So here you're going to look for your name of your DAC, default audio device. And even though you see all these others, look for this particular selection and then enable it and close and you're done. Now you may need to close it and click it back on for it to hear, to render audio, but it should play from that point on. Um, then once you have that music, your music player done, you want to go on to your um, video player and unless it's all one player, you may use one player for everything and that's fine. But if you do, like on a media player, it's still different than audio. Um, this particular player, MPV, is not uh, traditional in the sense of showing a lot of bells and whistles, but it's under the hood that where this excels. It performs uh, outstandingly uh, and it sounds great. But I suggest if you want to know about this player that you Google it, read about it, and maybe you'll come to the conclusion, as I have, that it's the play to me it's the, the choice player to use for video. And you and you can use it for music and all, but it won't render it you can't do as much in music. It's intended more as video, and that's why I have two different players. So with this player, um I won't be able to demonstrate uh the video because of copyright. I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but I'll show you the process here. So uh, when the player's up, uh, make sure that something's playing through the player. Uh, and what will happen is that you most likely will not hear any sound. And if you don't, you need to bring up pulse. You want to go to the first tab, playback. Here you will see a drop down menu that I can't show you at the moment. Um, and then the drop down, you want to select your particular DAC. Once you do that, you will get audio from the video player. And you'll be good to go from that point on it should see that the it, it's it's like shaking hands making sure that the devices see each other and so this is what you, this is what you need to do for it to see your your video players to look here and there will be this drop down and i'll give you an example of it with the browser i can't do it with the video player but the browser i'll give you the example that is very similar to this what i'm trying to explain here um so Okay, so now I'll bring up the browser. I think it's already set to YouTube. Um, and if it comes up, which it should, let's see. And you'll hear sound. Welcome to the HBC. Okay, and I'll have to promote this gentleman. Um, anyway, so here, oh, let's close the video player out. So here is the example. You will. Uh, see your name of your DAC here and you'll see when I click on it you'll see these other options let me let me hold on a second let me pause that and now I can't show you it but oh no it is there still okay so this little drop down won't be visible until there's audio playing through YouTube and um, when you have audio, you may not hear it until you go to uh, uh, Pavu or Pulse Audio Volume Control, and you'll now it disappeared. See, because what? Let me play it again, and you'll see. But some come with AES EDU or I squared S. There, it's there again. So here you have the drop down that will disappear until you'll see this, but you'll need to go in here and select your particular DAC. Once you select it. You'll be good to go so that you can hear audio from your browser and you'll have to do this with each browser so be aware that this must be done with each browser uh, and once it's done it, it'll see it from that point on you don't have, you won't have to go in here each time excuse me you won't have to go in here each time to engage it it should just work from that point on and uh, then you're good to go and um, this is also a great website for learning about audio and I will put it in the show notes for you, the link and all of that as well. And um, I uh, wish you the best in getting the best out of your audio and thanks for watching. And before I go, 
I uh, highly recommend reading the show notes. It's, they link to additional information about digital audio. And uh, um, thanks for watching. <laughs>